Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mugs or Mugsy or Crazy or Critical or whatever my uh, my name is nowadays. Um, so yeah, today I'm gonna do a uh, try to get this as organic as I want as I can, anyways, because um, it's a whole hour. I'm gonna talk through the whole thing. Um, <clears throat> I did this off stream, so when I recorded it, yada yada yada, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about how to uh, beat Sekiro in under an hour and a half. I don't know if that's what the title's gonna be. I think it's gonna be like how to beat Sekiro in an hour and a half or something like that. But anyways, let's get started. And uh, there is a few uh, things in this speedrun that I probably am not going to do again when I actually submit a official speedrun. Um, there's a lot of items I pick up. There's a lot of um, save points that you really don't need. Um, so this is kind of just like a little wrap-up um, of a really easy way if this is your first time speedrunning any game or especially if this is your first time speedrunning Sekiro in general. Um, I do grab a lot of items, and that's that's mainly um, because at the end of the game, if you're having trouble with Ishin's fight, which I do recommend um, having a new save file, um, saving an Ishin fight, and literally just doing that fight for like hours and hours and hours, and just practice it because there is a pattern. You know, there is videos to how to fight him, but my philosophy is always um, if I figure out my own technique, then I'll remember it a lot easier than trying to copy and paste someone else's fighting technique. But it does help trying to watch videos to try to figure out um, the mannerisms and body language and what attacks do what. Because it's, it's kind of hard when you get the last um, little fight with Ishin because you're pretty much like, um, I think I'm saying his name wrong, but whatever. But you're, you're pretty much one shot at the very end part. <laughs> But uh, the, the more items you have, the more um, spirit emblems, spirit emblems, emblems, emblem, emblem, I'm saying that wrong too today, saying all these things wrong, I got a little cold so I, I think I might mess up some words, but anyways, yeah, you get more spirit emblems where you can um, use the uh, the giant blade or um, firecrackers a little bit more, um, and if you die, then, you know, you can just, you have a reserve of like, you, know, you sell everything at the end. I think there's only two spots in this speedrun that I actually um, buy spirit albums. Make sure to grab the ash there. I'm gonna watch this as well. I'm talking here. I used to be horrible at this beginning. I used to always mess up this uh, this jump here. Oh, I, did a, I did a good this time actually. I can't remember if I actually didn't fuck that up or not. Make sure you talk to the boy in the very beginning, because a lot of times I don't. <laughs> Now I'm just kind of, I'm just going to talk as we're going, so. Um, yeah, make sure you talk to the boy, because otherwise when you get there, it's going to say, go talk to him. <laughs> and you can't say yes or no. Um, now, to the rest of the walking portions of the game, where you can just walk, I spam X, then square, or X, then grab, or jump and grab. Um, if you're on a PC, this is console, by the way. Um, so this will be on console um, rankings when I do submit it. So I just run right toward Jen. Again, I mean, not Jen. Skip two cutscenes. One there, you'll see a flame. I skip a cutscene. Jump, grab, jump, grab, jump, grab, jump, grab. Four times. I could have done that sooner. I think I don't, I don't know if I jump, grab. Yep, jump, grab. Hey, look at that. I did it good. Yeah, we can do it four times. You're going to run. Now, here they're going to have a click another start. There's three start menus at the very beginning before you see the first enemies. You see the first big guy, there's a start menu, and then one there. I think that's pretty much all of them. I don't remember, actually. Now, there is an item, a red candy, you can get here. I don't know if I get it here, um, but you can use it to fight the ogre, and it makes it a lot easier and way quicker. Let's see if I actually grab it, though. Oh, am I going for it? Yep. You can kind of run off that lot quicker and not worry about falling off. I was kind of worried about falling off, I guess. Now I go this way, you don't have to go this way, there's a way around, you can just kind of go down that little middle path there, just walk right through them and you won't get hurt. Um, I started following this path because I would get the shurikens, which you really don't need, um, and I don't even grab, so really I'm just kind of wasting time going this way, I could have just went around. And this is another part that makes a little sp this speed run easier, is I kill this guy first, which I do horribly, I don't think I even kill this guy good at all, this is hor I, will, I will want to restart after this, but... Um, he gives you a gourd seed, which um, helps out if you are, you know, still beginner level of speedrunning and such, or whatever. Yeah, see, there's the other menus and stuff. There is more menus, I remember now. Yeah, there'll be a menu with the ogre at the very beginning. Oh my god, just parry the goddamn moves. Come on. And there I am. 
I think I get grabbed. Wow. Get good. Get wrecked. Look at that. Um, yeah, I don't really target him. There's certain enemies that are definitely favored. When you target them, it favors the enemy a lot more. You kind of like your sidestepping has to be perfect. And um, if you don't, then you're just sidestepping into their attack if you are targeting them. Like the ogre, which we'll, we'll get to here in a second. Um, and I go around. Now, I do do get the uh, the green sugar candy, which you can allow you to use to be invisible. That was a weird sentence. You can use it to be invisible to get um, one, hit, one hit on them. So, the one uh, shinobi strike. There it is right there. You just kind of follow through. Uh, I found a better way. If you kind of just jump to that wall to the right, you kind of leap. You don't have to run into the wall like I just did. Grapple once. Grapple again on the top right. Yada, yada, yada. Um, anytime between here, you got to equip your items. It's going to be your, um, your, yeah, your gourd, your candies. Apparently, I don't know. Oh, okay. I put the red one there. I put the statue there because I like putting ash or... Um, any other item that I need to use that's right next to my life. Um, so that way I have an item I used to the right and left of my gourd, my gourd bottle, whatever. Be careful with this uh, because you can miss them. If you're looking at the wall like I am, looks like I'm purposely doing it to show you, but if you look at the wall that he's pinned to, um, yeah, he'll, he'll, you won't get it. Um, and I see how I hit him a few times because it targets him towards the center of this room here. And also, Speaking of targeting, I am not targeting him. Do not target him. If you target him, you will just pretty much like just run into his attacks. I try getting behind him. When you get any any maneuvering on him, just try to get behind him. Because you can you can successfully get three hits instead of two. Here I'm in front of him. I almost got grabbed. I don't think he touches me this time. I could have hit him two more times there, but I was worried I was gonna get touched because. Yeah, I could have easily hit him one more time and he would have been like, <laughs> would have all mad and stuff like that. Um, you want to be jumping as soon as that happens. There it goes. So yeah, a lot quicker. Um, now that that is a safety thing. That's what makes it a little speed run easier. Um, you don't have to get that. Um, but if you're having trouble with the Ogre, that makes that fight just that much, you know, less time, you know, that much uh, quicker anyways. So you want to jump as soon as your your legs running into that that corner there where that little tree ledge is, and you can land on that branch. Just keep running. I jump once. Don't be careful with this. You don't want to overly jump it and not uh, grapple to that because he's attacked me in midair, and I didn't know that could happen. So you're just gonna jump over here, stay on the right. Try to jump as soon as you can to get over here, because otherwise he might see you as soon as you're here. Be careful with that because you can fall off if you do not press square. Lead him against the wall. And here I'm just kind of spamming the walk button. Like one, two, three, one, two, three with the timing with the stick. Run straight into these blocks. He'll hit you. I don't know if I fuck I, I think I do this successfully. I don't know if I fuck up or not. I almost fucked up. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, you want to make sure you're running that first branch for a few seconds, then jump. Because otherwise you're not going to make it and you're just going to die. Alright, now, so here's another location of the uh, another red candy, which I think I get. Okay, good. I do get it. I did this a, a week or so ago, so like I, <laughs> I've been doing a different run um, with that's a lot quicker than this one. Um, so I hope I'm hoping that I'm doing everything that I should be doing at least in this one. Um, you get a green and a red. Red use that for the bull. Don't use the red for the uh, horseman because you have less times to hit him, and the red candy is literally just um, has a time frame on it. And the horse guy is pretty easy. All you gotta do is just pretty much just parry his attacks. Um, it'll stun him. Um, I'll explain it as we're doing it. Uh, so you grab up here. There is uh, smoke, not smoke, but ash by that dude by the tree who's crying over his horse. Um, I don't think I grab it here. You really don't need to grab it. You just need to grab two, four, six, eight. You need to grab five things of ash and you're good. I grab the ball and I grab the money. Um, I'll need that for, for later on. So let me just grab up here. There's ash right here. Make sure you grab it because I don't know if it, you're wasting time if you have to go back and get it. I'm gonna kill this horsey man. Is that what I call him? Yeah, Mr. Horsey Man. So you can get five hits on him. Parry. Please parry. Come on. Watch your watch your uh your posture always. He's pretty easy. There he is. You get him twice here, parry, parry, then pause. In between that pause, you can hit him once. You don't yeah, don't do that. <laughs> And always grapple him. There's a, there's a technique. If you grapple him, you can tuck under his side. 
Uh, but if you stray too much in, in front of the horse, um, you will get hit by that attack. Always hit him in the face because it makes the posture go way quicker than uh, um, than just hitting him regularly. You know, yeah, I'm tucking under his belly. Didn't get hit. I could have hit him three times there, and then continued to parry. This is definitely this is not one of my best um, horsey man fights. <laughs> horsey man fights. There's one. Although I'm still doing okay. I only got hit once, but it's not quick enough. Always grapple, because otherwise he does a series of fights that, a series of attacks that you can't really, you can you can parry, but it's gonna lengthen this uh, fight too long. Lengthen this fight? It's gonna make this fight last too long. Jesus Christ. And I'm not a pro at this. I'm just I'm still pretty new at it. Um, I, I do, I I I've watched the the number one record for this um, speed run, and it's fucking perfect for console. Uh, maybe I'll reach for third or second place, but uh, this is definitely nowhere near. It's an hour and 11, and on speedrun.com, I think ninth place is 45 or 49 minutes, so I definitely have to do a completely different route to even get on a roster. I could submit this one, but I'm not going to because it's not, it's, not, it's not the one I want. So. And we're just kind of talking through this and doing tutorial and stuff like that. Don't do that. I don't know why I parried. Um, when he's that close, you can kind of run up to him and, and dodge that attack, but you're best just parry, um, grappling him. Because you could be in the right distance and just run into that attack. There you go, now I'm doing a little better. It says one, two, pause, attack, hit. Or parry, sorry. There you go. And done, done. You probably have this horsey now. Now the next thing to do is to get to this altar. Um, it'd be great if you can finish him off in this corner, less running as I do. Um, and I don't know if I do in this one, but if you open the door right away, go through the doors, um, kill the one rat you need to kill. There's only one rat you have to kill. Oh man, lost a few seconds there. <laughs> this is relaxed speedrun. I'm not really... This is no record speedrun, that's for sure. Uh, I'm still happy with it, but... Um, Doing more and more of this, I realize that I can do much better. So I'm hoping I take out the rat. Yes, I do. Okay, cool. This is the only rat you have to kill. That's it. Um, you want to hit him, though. Because that would be great if you hit him. And don't do that. Cause that yeah. Just just hit him twice. And he's like one sliding attack and one attack. He's done. Or just, just kill him. Don't do what I did. I miss horribly. And you run over here, and by killing him once, killing that one guy, I mean killing him once. He doesn't come back. He's on, he's on a shadow. Shit, duel. Um... So you go over here, talk to Ratman. Oh, have you something? Have you give you something special? But you do need this. Um, if you think you don't need this skill tree, you fucking need this skill tree. You need everything in this skill tree, almost everything. And you just kind of spam in front of him. You have to just kind of <laughs> just shake in front of him. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. And boom, there we go. Now this is the part where it's kind of more items that I'm grabbing. Yeah, I don't need. There's more pellets if you need them. What's funny is I, I rarely, I, I do each in, in one try. So all the items I grab in here really have no point at all. So it really is, was just a safety thing, just in case if I fucked up twice, I would run out of uh, spirit emblems and I would just kind of just grabbing as I'm going. But the more items you grab like that, I really don't need ceramic shards. It's like five sen. You're not getting anything out of that. Um, you're mainly getting stuff out of... Um, the uh, the money bags you find throughout the game, and if you just grab those, and you you're, you're fine. And if you can't beat Ishin with just the money bags, I think you get like it's like two grand or like fifteen hundred with just the money bags. More actually, there's a lot more. I think it's like two thousand. So you can get like sixty spirit emblems at the end of the game. So really, uh, you, you don't need to grab the other items. Um, but if you want to practice the speed run. Grab all the items so at the very end you can kind of practice each and fight with a whole bunch of spirit elements. So you don't have to like worry about going back and getting more items and just to practice the fight. So I guess it's kind of like that. That's another thing too is you don't have to do this um, the healing gourd with her. Um, if you are truly doing a real speed run, there's no point in getting healing gourds. Because there's a lot of items you use for the ape, Ishin, her, her fight. Um, you're pretty much one hit. When using the uh, the really strong red candy, I know these names perfectly. Look at that, really strong red candy. Yeah, that's what I said. Um, and you're pretty much one hit. 
Uh, so really, getting Gord Seeds is kind of pointless. And Gen, if you're having trouble with Gen, I would suggest just practicing him too because he's really not that hard. He's pretty easy. Um, I have no right to say that in this video because I think I do get hit a decent amount of times. But I do it the first try. So I think all these attack. I don't think I. I don't know if I die once actually. Don't think about. It. I. I don't. I don't know. This was like. I did this all day, so I'm not, you know, praising myself by any means. I have a lot of practice to do. Um, but yeah, you should definitely, uh, again, I, I think for me, the hardest points uh, were again, Gen's fight at one point. I just practiced a crap out of it. All of it? All of it? Practiced all of it. I practiced a crap out of Gen's fight because I don't want to get stuck at that. Um, and the bull I was stuck on for a little bit. Yeah. Also, by the way, I... You have to go to the, the totem to go back here. Sorry, I didn't even explain that. And now here I buy, um, I increase my strength by the emblems. This is only the first out of two times I buy spirit emblems. I do it for the bull. You really don't have to do it for the bull. If you have the red candy in your hand, um, you can pretty much just continuously hit the bull in the face. And it'll get it to, like, ram the wall. Um, but I didn't really know that. So I just, safety-wise, I was grabbing the fireworks. Which, uh, you might as well use it for the bull, um, especially if you're doing this more relaxed one. Um, you could do the speedrun without the fireworks. You pretty much could do the speedrun without any po um, cosmetics. Prosthetics, cosmetics, <laughs> no cosmetics. You, you don't need Sekiro's new clothes. You don't need his fancy clothes to beat the game. Uh, no, you don't need uh, <laughs> prosthetics to beat the game. Um, fireworks is good for Ishin, but there's a way around it. I don't think I do it here. I think I do use the fireworks, um, but there is a way around it. And also with the monkeys, hit them twice. One, two, dead. Go around this little wood thing here. Use the power. It'll aggro the bull to you. And it should, yep. Oh, I did, cool. I think I did that perfect. Let's see if I do this perfect. Uh, I don't know. Um, see, I did the I did the cheap way. If you just parry his charge attack, um, you can you get a lot of good hits on his face. Oh, so I'm still doing decent. Yeah, there you go. See, he was about to charge me, but I charged him first, and it kind of, like, made him shake off. Pretty much as long as you're, like, 1-2 parry, 1-2 parry. Here, I, I really don't have a good technique. This is this was just luck. That was an accident. I didn't even know he was there. That I freaked out when that happened. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, I panicked there, because I thought he was going to rear up and run to the wall. I was like, whoa, what's going on? No, you just use fireworks today, yes. There is a way, if you use fireworks enough, it will, like, and if you staggered enough... No, 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 never mind. You can use fireworks and sneak up behind the second bull and scare him and make him run at the wall. This one, you, you can't really do that. So, yeah, this is a horrible display. Um, uh, I, I don't even know any tactic them. I'm really bad at fighting the bull, but this was, that was actually pretty good. Here, you can use the totem and go to recent totem. Um, for PC, it's quicker. Console, console, console. The console's really swollen. Um, it doesn't save time. Con uh, PC, um, second speed speedrun. Um, using the uh, like the little um, praying thing, it's a lot quicker than just running through there. But uh, console, it's like 15 seconds every time, 12 seconds, something like that. So yeah, pretty much a bull. Um, as long as you're parrying his charge attack, you can get four hits on him. Um, and uh, continuously only hit him twice. Don't try to go for the third hit. Because the third hit is always going to fuck you up when you try and parry his attacks. Now here you can jump on this ledge. I don't do it. Mainly because I have not practiced it. And I don't know how to do it. Uh, these are extra items you can pick up. This is a gourd seed. Yes, gourd seed. It's another gourd seed that I don't think I... Yeah, there's no reason to uh, go to that totem. Thank you. No reason to attack him either. Because when he attacks you, you're opening the door. Like right now, so you're not gonna get hit. I jump over these guys, run through these little curtains, pick up this red emblem, red candy, I mean. Go behind here. This is the part that makes it a little easier. I'm using like five, six minutes just to do all this. This is a, um, a, uh, necklace. Yeah, necklace. And there's two money bags back here. So there, there's, um, uh, is that a large? Yeah, so there, there's already 600 more dollars right there. More dollars. More sen. You can pretty much just run through these guys. Jump as soon as you hit those curtains right there. Jump. Yeah, jump into them, actually. Orange candy here. I mean, not orange. I guess I like orange candy. I like orange soda, too. I used to, anyways. Um, as long as you run to these corners and just run up here. 
and just like quickly go around the corners you can just click this and just look behind you spam X I look behind me just in case if they do come up so I'm not like caught by surprise and if you notice I had four out of four necklace spirit elements spirit why can't I talk it's not it's not even spirit elements it's fucking the goddamn bee necklace I didn't do it uh, this guy is pretty easy since I don't do the jump um, try <laughs> wow come on Quinn come on mugs let's get up and here I oh I died the first time so yeah if you do die you have to like spam spam start and R1 all at the same time so parry him and attack he'll do the jump thing which will allow you to hit him more times parry twice attack parry twice attack always attack after parrying him twice because it'll get him to do another attack or do that attack which that attacks obviously you can see how much posture it's doing so I, I, I saved myself I was really worried I was like oh god <laughs> I just died tutorial on how to how to fuck up Sekiro so I pick up this item you don't need this you don't need any of these items that I pick up it's literally not even like a hundred dollars all the pellets I guess you can use but I already have like 10 or 12 pellets and I don't think I think I don't think I even use pellets in this speed run I do for the ape um, I do for the ape you can use them for the ape and you can use them for um, that lady butterfly uh, the fucking what's her face you fight um, gentle blade and uh, in between the fights use the little munchies because you'll have any you'll have no time to use the munchies to use the munchies this one has the munchies for me yes um, I must find the cheese for me um, sorry, that's Khajiit. Um, yeah, you can use them between the ape sections. Uh, ape feet, ape, ape, wow, I can't talk. Ape phases. Ape phases, the two ape phases, you can munch on them. And, um, between, uh, Gentle Blade and Ishin, you can do it. Uh, but I don't recommend using them for really much of anything else, because not only are you going to lose time, but, yeah. So here, right here, if you notice, I parried those, those two arrows twice. And I didn't... Oh, yep, I fucked up here. Okay, I'm going to talk about what I was talking about a second ago. Um, <laughs> don't forget to upgrade. I lost, like, two, three minutes here. I just killed myself. <laughs> I forgot about this. So, yeah, see, like, this isn't perfect. Don't forget to upgrade your skills. Um, but, yeah, if you use the uh, the pedal... The, the pedals? The uh, little munchies. You can use those in, in between the eight phases and... Anything else. But anything else, when you're using them, uh, most enemies attack you while you're trying to heal, and the pellets kind of just take forever. Don't run. There you go. Good job. Please remember to upgrade. Don't do that one. Do the sliding one. There you go. Hey, it, it, oh, no, do the sliding one. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's awesome. Uh, you really need, don't really need that top section. I think I'd do it anyways because you get more spirit emblems um, accessible to you the very end if you do this successfully and don't die over and over you can keep up your skill points which is really how you should do it um, because you're gonna have like stacked out stuff for the end of the game so parry twice parry parry attack parry attack once parry this is kind of the same technique I use for um, um, gentle butterfly and I walk away now you, you should parry the last attack which I don't do here oh I do do I do do okay cool Cause that does a lot of um, posture and most of his attacks you can interrupt by attacking him. Parry twice, hit him before he attacks you. I always parry when he comes down because it helps with the posture damage. And near the end of his, like, gauges... Let's see, I fucked that up. You can parry all those arrows, and the last one you can kind of, like, run through. Yeah, I'm panicking now. Let's relax. There you go, relax. And most of his attacks you can't interrupt in all three phases. You can interrupt pretty much all of them. So yeah, pretty much just do this the whole time. It usually gets him to like um, do the same pattern what you're seeing. He slams overhead and tries poking you. You can double tap him with the attack, but then um, he gets into a different rhythm of patterns where this pattern is kind of like the same. It may seem like it's going slower than it is. Um, yeah, I don't know if actually I, I would like to compare the difference between being overly aggressive and hitting him twice. But I feel like by doing that pattern, it forces him to do the poke or the uh, 
under attack. We have to jump over his head. Oh, see, he blocked there. He blocked that because I was being, uh... The whole thing of, like, uh... If you, uh... If you hesitate, you'll die. You see there, though? I let the, uh... I didn't let it happen, but I let the arrows, um, take off my, my, uh... My posture, and I didn't panic. Because I knew he was... Every time he does two arrows, he does a walk up and then a slice. Like a side slice. So you have a time to... You have, you have time to recover. <clears throat> you have time, <laughs> You have time to recover and, um, and hit him. Now this is like a one, two, one, two, one, two, with his hits. One, two, one, two, one, two. Don't get overly happy with the full, um, don't do that. Um, make sure to parry that, because that's not a, um, overhead attack. And if he does parry your hit, he's going to hit you one more time so you can parry it. Just like how he is in, um, the first phase, first and second phase. Yeah, this is pretty easy. As long as you pretty much get the electricity. Um, if you notice, I jump whenever the red symbol is getting a little faint. Or if you're watching him, he's pulling back the bow and aiming at you. That's pretty much when you want to jump. But I always look at the red sign. The red sign is my, my key. So it, as soon as it starts pink, 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 pink. As soon as it starts um, highlighting pink and it starts fading away, you should probably jump. I don't know if this saves time, it's just for ADD, um, but I know as soon as the I skip this cutscene here, you could just run right through. I don't remember if we have to talk to her. Oh no, look at that, I'm all the way over there. I don't think it really matters at all. I think you have to talk to her because she tells you to go talk to the boy down the stairs. So, but I don't, th I don't know, don't quote me on it. Um, in this room you can pretty much grab, grab and grab and grab, jump and grab through this whole thing. It's uh, much quicker. You don't want to scroll down because you'll say no. Obey. Then jump grab. Oh no. You can talk to him one more time. Now you can jump grab to the left. Yeah, I'm getting ready. So you can jump grab. Bloop. Right there. And you turn around and jump grab to this little boy. All moments where you're just walking, you can at least do that and it speeds up time instead of just walking. Or just jumping, anyways. That's a lot quicker than jumping. Now I go over here, I used to have to go over here to go kill the rats, to get the rat thing, but I already have it, so I'm just going through and loving up my stuff. Um, I need to wait. I think I don't think I use anything, yeah. I, you need two points to get the uh, that attack. Uh, that helps with posture, and that'll help with um, uh, when you parry someone's attack, so. Uh, you don't want to waste it on the, the top one, because it'll help with the later fights in this middle section here. Now, when I do the, uh, the, um, the, uh, when I do the faster speed one, I don't know if I might stream it. Um, I probably will. Um, I just want to get it down a little more, down packed a little bit more. Uh, if I don't stream it, then I'll probably do another video like this where it's a tutorial and just kind of like talking about what I'm doing and stuff. There's a few jumps I have to do. Jumpses. There's a few jumps I need to learn. Uh, before again, um, there's a jump, um, where you fight the uh, the mist the mist monk before you get to the monk. It's a little wee wee. It's like playing a little flute thingy. What's his fucking name? What do I have on? Here? I don't have his name even on here. It's before the monk. Yeah, dancing fucker. Yeah, I have dancing fucker on there. Yeah, it's between. Yeah. What do I have for the this asshole and dancing fucker? That little dude that plays a flute. Uh, there's a, there's a there's an easier jump than I do in here. Here you can jump, you can jump drag, and I'll get to you to exactly where you want to go. I, I I missed the first jump drag, and I was walking, so it saves you a few seconds. Obviously, in this speed run, it's just good to practice that. So when you do, if you do want to go to the advanced level, where you're not having any gourd seeds, using more items efficiently, yada yada yada, um, those little techniques are already in tuned in your brain, so you don't have to worry about the pattern or the path or like techniques of jumping and grabbing. So. Uh, if you notice, I still haven't done the... I'm missing of strength. I really hope that I, that I do that. So that part, you just click down once and click over once. And it'll be the, the, the start of the Ishin Castle. Ishina Castle. I think it's pronounced. Probably not. Horrible pronouncing uh, Japanese words. But I do love anime. Not dubbed. Always subbed. This is Dragon Ball Z. I guess that's okay, but... 
It's still different though. You don't have to attack this guy. He gives you a key to get the uh, the spear, which is a waste of time, and I you don't need to do that. Uh, here, just run through. Don't even bother fighting the dogs. I think I killed this dog again. Look at these. I'm wasting time. So you, don't, you don't need to kill those fuckers. You don't need to grab this item here either, which I do anyways. And behind that big block to the right as you're running past is a big money bag, which we'll grab near the end. Yeah, see, I, I fucked up. Um, you want to highlight this because you need this totem for later on. And I'm wasting time killing dogs. I don't know why I'm doing that. What am I doing? Oh, that's what I was doing. Getting the skill here. Look at that. I'm oh, sorry, that's loud. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Still a waste of time. I don't know why I went to this guy. I think I was always sick when I did this. Oh, yeah, I was. I didn't end up streaming. I didn't, and I, um, didn't go to work. No, no, I had, I had the day, I had the day off. Oh, no, I was sent home because I was too sick. It was the next day after I was sent home, actually, no. no I, I was sent home and just passed the fuck out. Then the next day I didn't have work. Um. It's probably the middle day. It doesn't matter. Either way, I was, I was pretty sick when I played this. So there's a lot of things I'm fucking up. Now, there's only two items you need to grab here. Um, one on the boat, which is a red sign, and there's one money bag. But I pretty much grab everything, because that's why I mentioned in the beginning. I grab everything, because why not? Yeah, money bag and a red red candy. If you're doing it, or if you're actually doing it like that, just grab the the red candy and the money bag. I use the red candy for sometimes for the ape, if I don't feel comfortable on using the, uh, the super red candy, which takes your life away. But makes you super OP. But makes everyone else around you OP as well. So um, it's one of those things where if you have to perf if you're good at perfecting things, perfecting, perfect. If you're good at perfect parry, and you done, I would I would recommend actually. Now that I think about it, um, playing this game on Game Plus. Um, I don't know that some people don't like Game Plus or whatever. Um, but if you play Game Plus, you can um, just do literally a Shira ending. All the way through every game plus and every time you do it it'll be harder to fight and that's the practice that I kind of did um, you want to jump down that lower area but I do this anyways I really hope I grab this other red candy because there's one more red candy you can get here but I don't think I do it if you tuck to the right there is a red candy right there right by that bush there to the right of those guys oh no it's right there actually it's right there by my feet which I don't get I just go whoop whoop um, but yeah, I pretty much just did uh, Shura ending um, game plus the whole time. I didn't do any other ending, any other um, um, necklaces, any nothing. Just not a zip zoop, nothing. So the more I played it, the harder it was to kill everyone. There's a gourd seed up here, by the way. Which if you do kill, you don't have to kill him. I'll kill him so these guys won't be um, warned. But it really doesn't matter if they're warned because you can just run right past them. It doesn't matter. And you don't need these items either. It's just a Goku sugar. <laughs> Gokan. It's Gohan and Goku fused together. You don't, really, you don't need that. I climb up here because there's more spirit emblems. And that's pretty much like a whole big money bag right there. Because you get like six of them right there. And I think at the end of the game, um, they're worth 30 cents. So pretty much, you know, 6, 12, 18, 180 right there. So. And grab those little three ones there. Alright, this is Roboto! Um, so you notice I'm using a lot of um, spaces and yada yada. And use, please upgrade my strength. Did I fight him without the extra strength? Okay, I did. Yeah. I did do it earlier, so I guess I'm not, but you're not really saving time doing that. Um, it is a safety measure um, to, uh, if I die, I don't have to run through the whole thing. Here you can just run, you, can, you don't have to do this. You can just run past them and go around the other side. You don't have to grapple. You can just jump right on. Which I'll probably show another time. You can, you can. I was a little uncomfortable on um, jumping too much to the left because I don't want to fall. But you can, uh, you can jump pretty much all the way to the ledge where you can just climb up right away. But yeah, if you just go around where you are, you can just climb up. So I pretty much attack him once, parry. I don't parry. Parry, attack once, parry, attack again, parry. The poke. Oh, you can interrupt his poke. I don't know how well I did this one. <laughs> Not very good. Pretty much, if you parry the whole phase, you're pre he's pretty much done. You hit him like four more times right there, then he's done. I think I recover here. 
Nope, I don't recover. Yeah, he should be dead already. He should be running towards the fog. Now I'm panicking. There we go. Be careful to make sure he gets close to the edge. <laughs> he does have a good distance, if you see right there. He has a good distance for him to fall. But pretty much if you just attack him once, parry attack, parry attack, parry attack, parry attack, he'll do his charge thing when he's getting all mad. You can hit him four times if you hit him in the very beginning of him getting mad. Three if you're not comfortable. I've seen someone do four and even five. And then it's parry, pause, parry, parry, and then, you know, I didn't do it, obviously, so... Um, that is one fight that I did. Pra I, pra I went back and practiced, so it's, it's a little easier now. Uh, especially using the the red thing. If you're parrying, then you're, you pretty much got it. So, which I didn't. So, at least I still got it on the first try, though. I mean, it's like a count I died. Oh, I fucked up there. Look at that. Yeah, full panic mode. There we go. Get up there. Come on. There's a money bag down here. I think I grab it. Uh, and I found a quicker way to do this. On a video, so this is the, the way longer way. You can get on that building back there and uh, climb up, which I'll probably edit. If you see something pop up right now, right there, uh, this is how you can climb up on this little spot. I'll probably put it there. So instead, you have to go through all this, and you notice you can go through here, and you also can use the uh, the the, uh, the green candy. You can skim through these guys if it's still showing. It should be still showing in the top left, so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, but in this one, we'll go back to here. And in this one, you just go all the way around, and, um, which is, you know, adding another minute or two. So I could have gotten, like, all these little shortcuts I could have, I could have gotten under an hour. So, like, not grabbing all the items. You don't have to do this idle. Uh, that's pretty much a waste of time. Use a candy. But if you use other, if you use other technique, you're already on the candy, so you just want to... Spam right through and just press square. Now it's pretty simple, but you still gotta be careful. Look behind you. Hit him. Um, you can parry up here. Some people parry in that middle area, but I always go here because I'm already running that direction to kill the second, the third monkey. So you can kill him. I don't use fireworks because you don't really need it for this guy. Jump at this ledge. You jump over here. You can parry here. You can parry twice and parry on that ledge and get closer, but I don't do it because I'm like scared. <laughs> Because you pretty much fuck up this part and you're chasing them around, you, you pretty much fucked up the speed run. Now you can go to the right, um, you know, here. Look at that. That's a lot quicker. So go up there and go up here and go up there and jump all those little jumps there. Um, and, uh, yeah, since I have the fireworks, you want to go over here, throw the fireworks down. You don't have to use the fireworks here. It's just for safety. Because those guys, if they hit you like twice or three times, you're pretty much dead. And then, or, and on top of that too, if you're not dead, he's, he's running away. And personally, I have no idea where they go. <laughs> I know where two of the spots are, but I don't know where he specifically goes to hide. And yeah, done. And we gotta do Voldo, which is like the, uh, I named him after the, uh, which I'm pretty sure it's the same, um, lore character. The Voldo that's in, um, Soul Calibur. He's like one of my favorite characters to use. To use? Your favorite character to use? He's my favorite character to use in, uh, um, so caliber when it was good before the new one came out. Uh, we're not gonna talk about that though. Um, but uh, yeah, so I named him Voldo. It looks like the same character. He's like on all fours and he has claws and shit. You know, I think that's what Voldo is based off of because it looks like the same mannerisms. But I don't know. I just named it that. So here I'm uh, getting a new strength and the skills. So I need this skill right there. Definitely get that one because I think that's what the uh, better posture and shit. Um, now you want to get this one too because this one here is a better stepping ability. Stepping ability. It, it affects more posture when you step on an attack. And you want that for just the whole game pretty much. Especially with Ishin fight. Um, he has a poke that you can step on. And the um, uh, gentle blade has a, uh, has a poke you can step on as well. I think I use uh, all the skills properly in this, this speed run, but yeah. Um, so right now we're going back to the castle where the boy is. Uh, now at this point, if you have the Gord Seed, you can use the Gord Seed to activate it through um, Gentle Blade. Um, if you're doing a little more relaxed and you want to have that little cushion. And I think I do it here. Yeah, I do do it here. Yeah. Which, look, I think, I'm pretty sure I don't, I have like two or one, one or two 
square one, one or two uh, gourd seed bottles left at the end of the game. I don't know. But yeah, as soon as you go out, go to the right, fall down. You don't think it's falling. You just jump from there, but I, I don't know if you can actually just jump from that second ledge. But I know you can jump from the bottom ledge. So yeah, this will get you to where you need to go uh, to fight Voldo. Uh, make sure if you didn't grab the key previously to grab it there. It'll be the key um, to go past Voldo. Yeah, you don't need this item either. So there's a lot of items I grab. I really don't need. I don't. You don't need to activate this one either. It's really a waste of time um, because you can just run through this without dying. You don't have to worry about it. Um, you should be able to run through this without dying, but I, I think I do it for safety measures. So you can just grab all these branches. There's two guys here, which I think I fight. Now, if you're really low on skills and you need like a few extra umph and skills. You can kill these guys and it'll help you bump up your skills really quick because they give you like 150 or something like that. Which you can't see because of the thing in the way, but now I have one point and I think I'm going to use that for something specific, I think, anyways. Let's see me waste more time. Okay, so in that second skill tree, uh, the one you get from killing the rat, you want to, that whole bottom line, you want to finish, except the very last one, because you won't have enough points to do it. But yeah, this is the comfortable part of it. You don't really have to rush, you just kind of like, you want to rush anyways, but you don't have to worry about, um, if you want to kill those guys, and you could just, sorry, I was grabbing my cat's toy. <laughs> you can, um, yeah, kill those guys for extra points, but. You're really no wasting. T you're wasting time doing that. Um, now, with all these grab ones, um, there's other speed runs where, really, pretty much any of them really um, that are in the top tier. Um, there's a way you can jump through there. And here, use your candy. Oh, cool! I use it. Cool. Now, use your candy right here, so they these guys, these dice, these dollies right here. These guys don't see you. Uh, but there's, there's a technique in order to jump around all the the cliff. You can like just double double sprint. Um, Gap strip. Gap strip? What the fuck? Gap. Uh, what the fuck am I trying to say? You can sprint. Gap sprint. Same thing with here. That, that second, that ledge right below me. You can jump and that little tree right. Right? No. Right, okay, I didn't even show, but it's it's right there. Um, you can you can grab on that. Um, now, I thought you had to just like run around like that, but if you just run on the left side of the bridge, they can't shoot you as well anyways. And I still get shot. Maybe because I'm running around everywhere. If you just run straight to the left side, you can pretty much... Uh, you just have to be careful if you jump over between the bridge gap. This is another jump that I don't do that's a lot quicker. You get shot. I think the person I watched was doing it. Um, they got shot like twice. Obviously, they, they did it way faster than me. Um, but they got like shot twice. Um, maybe three times. I don't think three times. Grab this seed here. Now, if he attacks you, then you have time to like um, do this. But if you if he doesn't attack you, and if you're just not lucky, you have to do this really quick. <laughs> really quick. <laughs> oh wow! Really quick, because you have to press X to uh, recover, see as, as you can. And this fucker. Now with him, there's two ways to fight him. One way is actually parrying his moves. The last parry will get him to uh, do that. You can even have like a pause mode where you can block and recover a little bit. Every time you parry that last attack, you will do this, which is your key point. It's the main one you want to parry. Um, there's a quick way of doing it. You can run in, use your, um, your, your fucking uh, mortal blade twice on him, parry, jump on his head. You know, it's, it's quicker doing it that way, but um, I haven't really mastered that way. So but you can use a mortal blade on him and it, it would have been dead already. So. I think it's Mortar Blade, parries attacks, jump on his head. Actually, some people actually sidestep that jump attack where he's about to hit you. Wait, no, not the jump attack. That right there, that last attack, people sidestep it and use the Mortar Blade. Um, always jump on his head. Never use Mortar Blade over jumping his head. Uh, but that last attack you parry to jump on his head, you can use the, uh, the Mortar Blade, and it'll do a lot more damage and posture damage over jumping his head. So I guess there's... There's different ways of doing it. You don't need to grab any of those things I grabbed. Especially not the uh, the fan. That's a complete waste of time. But I did this much better. I think, look at that. This asshole, I got at 107. 
and I got to Big Boy, which is the monkey at 132. And I couldn't. Uh, I did that online, online, on stream. Make sure you uh, um, uh, grapple to that tree, or if you just lean on the ledge and just keep kicking off the ledge. I've seen someone spam it to where they just fall straight down. Uh, be, be careful because if you see that red sign pop up before even landing in the water, or if you see the red sign popping up as soon as you touch the water, you pretty much like gotta go under the snake because he's gonna show up right in front of your face. <laughs> yeah, make sure you do rest here because uh, you need this um, checkpoint to get to the uh, the ape. So this is one of the ones where you have to do it. I do waste time looking at the skill points and I don't know what to get. I think I'm saving up the skill points to get that uh, stepping one where you step on the blade. I think that's why I'm not upgrading the uh, the uh, the second skill tree you get from the rat. So I think that's pretty much what I'm looking at because that's the last one you want to get from that one. Um, now make sure you jump and kind of like is, make sure you're about to touch the edge of that cliff there and then turn to the left and there is a quicker way you can just grapple on that bottom one but I haven't really mastered that and that's a little safer way of doing it um, I rarely fail that jump um, whereas the more complicated one to make sure you're aiming at the uh, it's not it's not, not that it's more complicated I just I did that one because that's what I learned for myself and I watched someone else do a quicker way I was like okay well whatever so we glider in here, that's why we have the glide, grab this, the, uh, the, uh, the dust, the dust, the fucking, um, fog, the ash, Jesus Christ. Uh, now here, make sure you jump as soon as the red symbol pops up, jump. Uh, cause otherwise you're dead. D-E-D, -E -D, in the grave, you gone. Don't need this item, but it's worth a decent amount, so I pick it up anyways. You'll see how much, uh, how many, uh, how much money I get uh, at the very end of it. I think it's like 3,000 or something like that, uh, which I, I buy like, I think 80 or 90 spirit alums. Um, this is just pellets. You don't really need that unless you really, really want the pellets and you're wasting a lot of time doing that. Um, this one you really don't have to do, but I always, I still, this is, this is another part that I'm not that great at. Um, now if you go down below and fight the lady right away um, with the mortal blade she'll do a grab poke and you can parry that when she grabs you with a gun and shoots you in the air. I haven't really mastered that yet. Um, so what I do is I run straight and kill this guy. And because I can't kill her quick enough I uh, kill this guy which shoots me while I'm trying to kill her and it really fucks me up. Because I sometimes have to take my time with her. And I don't know, like I said, I'm not very good at parrying that last poke, red attack. Uh, which you'll see it here in a second. Um, and here, she pretty much can't see you as long as you don't get too close to the ground. You can parry all along here. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but you can parry on the right side of the branches and she won't see you. The whole right side and she, she won't see you at all. She's looking straight ahead, not above. So she's not really paying attention. She's got too much cloth on her face. You know, too much, too much fungus. And, you know that. I, don't, I, don't, I would not worry of that. It's fucking hot in there, but yeah, two mortal blade attacks, two of them. Bloop, bloop. She'll do the pokey. Oh, she didn't do the pokey. There's the pokey. Run back, do the mortal blade again. Works just as fine. You can parry even though you, it looks like you're still putting the blade in the socket. Wait, what the fuck? The socket? Put the blade in the sheath. My god. Uh, run away. Or at least jump. I think I jumped because I didn't have enough time to run away. And yeah, there we go. I kill the guy with a gun mainly. I mean, I'm, I'm what losing uh, 20 seconds, something like that, maybe almost a minute by doing that because uh, I don't get shot at. I haven't perfected. Uh, if you can perfect pairing that that graph poke with a red symbol, um, and you you pretty much don't need to kill the other gun guy. If you're better than me, then you wouldn't be watching this in general. So <laughs> you'd be doing what I was doing, was watching the uh, number one spot slot. Spot slot. I'm in a one one number one spot slot. The spot slot, boy. Uh, then yeah, you don't have to do this one. Uh, but if you are uh, better than me, then you know uh, you won't be watching this. So yeah, this is a t tutorial for relaxed speed run under an hour and a half, I maybe mean, even two hours. So I think you know, I do think this is a very easy speed run. I don't think it's that complicated as long as you understand the mechanics of the fights. It's pretty simple. Um, there's a lot of checkpoints to help you get to the end of the game. Um, a lot more than really any Dark Souls from Microsoft games. This game really isn't hard. Uh, what makes it seem like it's hard is the more dynamic mechanics of the said fights. And individual characters have their own um, 
uh, qualities of weaknesses. Like someone who's very defensive, you can be overly just as defensive and it affects them as much. Someone who's very aggressive, you can be overly aggressive. <laughs> That's a goddamn chicken. Be careful with the chickens, they'll knock you down. There's a headless down there. Uh, but yeah, the ones who are overly aggressive in this game, if you're overly aggressive back, it'll like do a whole new, whole different fight sequence. Whether you're trying to be defensive for overly offensive attack, offensive player, or someone who's overly defensive character, like the, uh, uh, let's see here, not the, uh, I mean, maybe kind of like um, Gentle Blade, but also like the uh, other Gentle Blade fighter who's the, uh, the remnant ghost lady who's like singing the song and she's waiting for the warriors coming back from the war to uh for her husband and stuff like that she's kind of the same way if you try to be too aggressive with her she's gonna fuck you up so that's kind of my point with that uh don't know if it has any value to it but there's that so throwing it out there but yeah anyways um this here is also another part of the game where um there's like a way quicker way to jump up here i have to kind of like practice it and also remember where it is but you can kind of jump up Right there, and like luck and all the way around, and that did. Yeah, parry him, um, you can use a mortal blade on him. Uh, I think four hits with a mortal blade, or four hits, one, like two mortal blade hits, and then hit him with a regular attack, and he's pretty much dead. Or something like that. I, I think it's three mortal blade hits, uh, but yeah, he's pretty much dead, so. Uh, make sure to pick that up, because that's very useful. Especially if you're doing the official real hard speedrun. That is one item you will need, is the super red. Um, KO can effect. You don't need this item. More pellets, though. More pellets if you need it. Always use pellets when you can. If there's different phases where you have a pause, don't use your Gorsis. Use your pellets because pellets take a lot longer to to use, and they take they they don't heal you right away. So um, you don't need anything from him. But I go here anyways because I'm a dangus, and I think it's something important. I like to look at the, uh, the the fish scales that you don't need. Which are really cool if you do collect them all. You can uh, get some really nice items, like the Dragon Mask and uh, a few other actual um, L1, R1 attacks. Um, there's two ways you can do this. Um, I think I do the quicker way. You can just pretty much run straight and go on the right side here. Which do I? Yep, I do that. Okay. So you just run right through here. Or you can just go straight through ahead um, and parry up above there. You saw a little, little green symbol pop up. Um, but you can I pretty much just run through here. Um, you don't have to pause here because you can just go right towards the monk, but this is another spot you can feel more comfortable. Um, and if you do that way of routing, you can rest too if you need to. So, uh, but if you're doing a real speed run, don't, there's no reason to rest there. So, because the monk is actually pretty easy. Now, there's a few ways you can do it. Um, technically, there's really only two ways you should do it. Um, one where you use two snap seeds um, to his right side flank. And you just slowly start throwing all the ash at him. Use one more snap seed, the last one you have, the third one. And um, then you can just jump on the uh, the little totem behind him and then just kill him. I have not perfected that. I have not done it yet. So you won't see it in here. I would like to show it in the top left, but um, I personally have never done it before. I've seen other people do it. Um, I'm sure if you type in, like, cheese fights... Um, cheese monk fight Sekiro, or just cheese fights. I don't know why I'm destroying the barrels. Goddamn. Um, fucking Zelda makes me want to destroy the pots. Uh, so here, yeah, I get ready. Um, use the super heavy red candy. I think I use the regular red candy here. Um, I think I switched those two. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, what, yeah there you go. Put the, put the ash right there. There you go. And then you put the snap seeds there. That's how I do it. So, whoops, I didn't even do it. I put the ash right next to my health, um, just in case this shit goes down, but um, that's safety reason. You don't have to do any of that. As long as you have the, uh, if you're doing not the jumping off the wall version, you need the, the confetti, the super heavy red one, not that one, but the, the one that takes your life away. You want to run up, use two snap seeds. Um, in between the snap seeds, hit them, and then after you, after you um, hit them twice, from the second snap seeds, use ash, and then do use all the ash, and then use the last of the snap seeds. So I hit him twice, snap seed, snap seed, hit him twice. I think I used too much snap seeds. He'll do this. Watch. Right there. I did not expect it to happen. I was like, oh, see, I switched my ash over, but I fucked up, so I was able to switch back over completely. Um, if you use three snap seeds on him, he'll do that evade attack, and it won't be like, fuck you. And go back to hitting him. One, two, ash. And this is pretty much it. So this is just the whole fight right here. 
hard fight. Now, if you had the uh, the super heavy red, oh, I fucked up again. So you can tell that I wasn't. I was kind of sick when I did this. This this fight shouldn't have any trouble. Have you panic there too? You can easily. I, I don't know why I didn't step on that. I just kind of. I tried sidestepping it. Fuck that up. Jeez, I just fucked all this up. If you do have to throw the ash at him from far away, if you do fuck up like that, uh, just run up and hit him once and then use ash again because you won't be able to hit two hits on him because he'll get you. You have to be literally on him. And here's the fireworks for safety. So if you did it without the fireworks, you pretty much have to reset the whole speed run. Uh, if you're doing this without fireworks and you're doing the sequence of the uh, heavy red, confetti, two snap seeds, hits in between everything, every single snap seed before and after, then all the ash, and then the last snap seed. Um, actually, no, I'll show it. I will. I'll show it right there. You know. Actually, I probably will already have a pop up, so I just made a noise for no reason. But whatever. Um, yeah, you can just do it this way. So that's a lot quicker. Um, then, uh, yeah. So the other way where you can uh, um, just jump in the back backboard, backboard shut, and then get him. I I don't know how to do that. So, um, cause I'm a loser. Um, but yeah, so here people use the totem to go back to the spot PlayStation. I don't know if that's quicker Or console. I really don't know to be honest. Um, I think I don't think it's quicker I kind of have an idea, but if you're in the comments and if you are better at this than me Then let me know if uh, running to the totem is quicker or just using the actual prayer thing I think running is quicker because I timed it and he was like 14 seconds to get there and it's like 12 seconds to get there But it doesn't really matter because I got like an hour and 11 minutes So like you know, what I mean so like but that's still one of those little fine-tuned detail things if you're trying to do a perfection Or if you're trying to do like the best of the best, you know, I want to be the very best You know if you want to be the very best and that's the one of those little things you gotta worry about But here if you're just trying to beat the game under an hour and a half and be like, oh, hey, I beat second hour and a half Well, you did you know, you can press all your buddies or whatever, or if you don't have friends like me, then you can just, you know, put on YouTube and then, you know, talk to myself like I'm doing this whole time. But yeah, anyway, so I, I <laughs> um, you, you make sure that you have that, um, make sure you don't fall. Um, but see that totem I have, that prayer station, fucking bonfire, what are they actually called? They're not called totems, are they? I don't know. The fireworks, the, f the fireworks over there, <laughs> the fireworks. The bonfire, I mean, what the fuck, forget about it, whatever, I don't fucking know. Um, this thingy, what are these things called? Sk Idol. <laughs> I've been calling it, what have I been calling it? Totems. They're not totems, you know, <laughs> the fuck, we're not, this is Japanese, not Aztec lore, whatever. So yeah, use all your strength and stuff like that, whatever, whatever. Um, I didn't do it earlier, you want to do it at the monk station, so you don't have to stop at that, um, idol there. I'm using the right word now. Here, I think I fuck up. I don't remember. But you want to use... This is one thing. We want to use the heavy red attack. And the heavy red attack, you want to... Um, I think I, I switch over. There it goes. You run up, hit him once with the mortal blade. Um, then you have to jump in the air because he's going to grab you. Once you jump in the air, land back down, hit him twice with the uh, mortal blade. I die here because he hits you. See how he tried doing it? And I died. So there's always a chance of that happening. <laughs> I think what you have to do is just don't run up right on him. I think when you run up right next to him, um, you kind of fuck yourself and he doesn't attack. So I'm pretty sure that's what happens. Um, but anyways, yeah, if you hit him with that third mortal blade hit, you hit him once, and then if you jump, then hit him twice with the mortal blade, Right here, hit him twice in the face, walk to the side, and I did it too soon. If you hit him twice in the head, I think I do it eventually. I don't do it in this run because I think I die. Um, uh, I should be able to show the example in the second one. I don't do, this is like the worst um, eight fight I've ever done practicing this really. You can sidestep under his on armpit there, but I just parried it because I was freaking out. Um, but yeah, once you do get a knockdown, you hit him in the head twice, walk over to his back leg, hit him five times. Here you can just run behind him and jump, which, wow, I almost got hit there. If you just run in a circle, most people's attacks, you just run in a circle. One, two, nope. 
I think I saw it. I thought he was knocked down. I die here. No, I don't. I don't remember what I do. I think I die once. I die eventually. I really should have just restarted the whole thing. But I was, you know, stubborn. I'm actually getting through the ape more than the ape I thought I did. I know he, he does kill me in the first phase. Or does he kill me in the second phase? I don't know. And yeah, this poop attack, if you just run underneath him in a circle, and most of his attacks like that that seem hard to run through, one, two, walk to his backside. One, two, three, four, five. Faces you again. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. If you hit him too soon, he'll fall on his back and then do like a different series of attacks. One, two, and he's done. Oh, look at that. Well, this I was able to showcase what, um, uh, that little technique there. But you can get to that a lot quicker if you use the super energy sugar. One mortal blade attack jump out of his grab, two mortal blades attack, and you pretty much just do that exact technique the whole time. And you're, uh, then it's GG. But yeah. Um, I do hit him because it wakes him up a lot quicker. I had him right in that booty, that monkey booty. Here's a technique. Run right into the madness and just die. I don't know, if you run um, behind him, you can, I think, I, yeah, yeah, I fucked this up now. Yep, yep, I fuck up right there. Um, you, if you, you can stay right on him and pretty much just walk behind him when he does a shout. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I fucked this up though, so. Here, you don't have to do anything. You can literally just jump when, just like any other, um, maneuvering attack, we have to jump over it. But yeah, see how you're, you're safe. You don't, it's, it's really easy to maneuver out the way. Here, you can kind of like, if you walk, if you ran into him, he won't hit you with that attack, but I was like, on the very edge border of being hit by that blade attack, and I was hit, of course, so. And there we go, running all the way. I got hit a little bit, see a little chaos there, but, or fear. Here, there's a way of doing it where, while he's doing those attacks, you can get behind his leg and hit him four times, and then when he's doing the wind-up attack, um, you can still parry that and get those other hits in. Um, be careful though, for some reason, most generally, he, um, if you hit him enough, he will, uh, do a shout over attacking. And there I go. Oh, yep, I use this and I don't parry this attack. I just get hit. <laughs> yep, that's where I fucked up. Um, and now this whole next fight I have to do, um, completely safety measures. Um... I could have easily got him there. Um, when you have the the superpower sugar, you can kill his posture goes up very quickly. You, if you're not safe on using that, you can use the regular red ones, and it does help his posture and life go down quicker than normal. And you don't have to worry about your life. Um, this time, I don't even use a sugar. I don't think. No, I just like, oh fuck, I don't want to fuck this up. Uh, next speed run, I'll kind of do this a little more efficient, but um, I definitely kind of fucked that up. Um, that was a good sequence. See, I kind of, there's some parts where you can, um, where you can, uh, oh shit, that's close. I don't know why, I could have used the mortal play there, I don't know why I didn't. I did it once and then jumped up and then he was paused. Now I can do it here. Oh, see, I fucked up. See how I thought I could do two mortal blade hits? I already previously hit him like four times, four or five times, which was like the equivalent of one mortal blade attack. So, yeah, this whole uh, this whole attack is pretty much foiled. It's all fucked. The whole series of attack you pretty much just like run in a circle. You can like just dodge it all. Just, most of his attacks, if you just get in his back, if you can Dark Souls the fuck out of this character pretty much. All the big characters, you pretty much can just Dark Souls. And just stay on his leg, right in his butt cheek. Butt cheek for the wind for a Dark Souls game. Pretty much every single Dark Souls character, you can stand the butt cheek actually. Almost. There's a few of them you can. You want him to do the fart thing? Because you can hit him a few times, which I don't hit him. Because if you just run up next to him. Oh, there we go. There we go. I should have done twice because I would have knocked him down, but. 
a little series of attack. You can do two attacks, jump in the air, then do a charge attack. And a dec decent amount of damage. All right, now I can do two, run to a side, back leg. One, two, three, four, five, really awkwardly. One, two, don't know if that counted. Yeah, okay. So see, if long, as long as you time it out, you can do it, but it's a lot more dangerous to do it in front of the face. If you hit him twice in the face and just take, as soon as you do the second hit, just walk over to his leg and just smack his back of his leg. You're pretty much, um, you you, you pretty much are going to continue the cycle. So, and try to wake him up. Wake up, monkey! <laughs> Come on, monkey! There you go. See, I smacked him in the butt. He wanted to wake up. See, so he doesn't always start with the. Uh, yeah, see, he doesn't always start with the shout. Perry. Parry again. So I try to get his back leg, but I realize that he's doing the upwards attack, which it kind of lines back up with you, so you don't have to worry about it. Don't you can use that if you're using the. Um, yeah, you don't really want to use that. You can do one mortal blade attack and then get three more hits on him, so you don't have to waste um, unneeded mortal blade attacks. But you really don't need to do that. Um, get back his leg, and he does a wind up. See, I'm trying to get into his back of his leg. If you get to his back leg. When he does the four attacks before that overhead attack, you can get more hits in. Get four attacks in. Um, when you parry him, right when um, you get a chance, I think it's after sex, two seconds of um, standing still, you can do a power attack. And um, they're right here, which I fuck up because I have one, two, I get one hit. <laughs> yeah, right there. Power attack, one, two, three, four, five. Do four, never do five, because there's a chance that he'll do that over screaming. And uh, a power attack in four hits is always a safety. Uh, I'll do that sometimes. As long as you run behind him, you'll be fine. I get hit too much. Always jump on that. If you think you're not, if you think you're far away enough, you're not far away. He'll always hit you with that. Unless if you're literally across the map, you know you don't have to worry about that. See right there? You know, I was nervous. I had four hits and I was ready to parry. Wasn't able to move behind him. But that's when you can attack his back leg. One, two, three, four. Parry. Look at that. Oh, I fucked that up so his whole sequence changes now. He repeats. There we go. Now I can repeat it. Oh, see, sometimes he does he goes right into that. If you parry his backslash, he sometimes does that. One, two, four. Parry. I pretty much got on this whole rhythm this whole time. If I had uh, the red candy, I pretty much would get him way quicker if I would have just done that exact thing. <laughs> um, although I did get hit once, so there is there is that. I would have been dead if I, if I used it. Um, so that's why, that's why I didn't use it. But also you have to remember too, when you're using those um, the super red candies where you go KO can. <laughs> it's not what it is. I actually don't remember what it's called. It's, it's a candy though, pretty much. It's a super like fucking uh, Street Fighter looking candy. Uh, so you, it's you're using those to pretty much not be in the fight as long as you uh, are without it. So although it's dangerous, but you're only a fraction of the time doing those set attacks. Whereas if you're not doing that, you pretty much have to perfect it to the whole thing, unless you get hit once or twice and you're fine. But like. Um, yeah, so he's one of those ones where you don't have to worry about his posture moving down or moving up. If you're not using the uh, super heavy red attack, super heavy red candy, um, but yeah. So yeah, now we're going to Ishin Castle. So we have to go to the very bottom. That's where that's where the uh, merchant is. So this is where the uh, the candies and not the candies, but the stuff I got I collected that I'm gonna use. And yeah, so right here you'll see like what I get from like literally all um, the items I collected. So wow, I actually did this pretty quick. I only have. And the record is, uh, it goes up to 115 on here, but the actual save file is 111. Um, 19 or something like that. Um, so yeah, here you're going to see that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell all the items I can to this merchant. And um, yeah, so I think it's like 80 some spirit albums. I grabbed this heavy money bag. I knew I forgot. Um, I have to run back again. Yada, yada. You probably should just grab that in the, the first get-go. Just run through the dogs, grab the money. You know, totem, load it, press circle, run away, you know. And I pretty much sell everything. Which uses up, you know, two minutes or so. A 
looking at this now, I pretty much am wasting a lot of time. I don't even need to sell any of this. How much? I have a shitload of money now. Without selling, taking the, the two minutes it took to sell all of those, you could have just sold the money bags and you would have had, I would have no reason to do anything else. So, on a note, if you are doing this and you have a lot of items, only sell your money bags and, because it's quicker, get the spirit elements you can. If you go to Faishin and you realize, fuck, I need more spirit elements and I fucked up the speed run, you have a backup. You're like, okay, well, I have more items I can sell. I can just, but now I need practice. If you can't do it with 60 spirit elements on hand from the money bags, you probably need some more practice. Um, I did this live and, yeah, uh, ran out of spirit elements and was like, fuck. And I was stuck at Ishin for like two hours. I got to him in under an hour. Like an hour and ten. Pretty much the same time here, actually, now I think about it. Um, I think it was a little quicker because I didn't grab all the items. Uh, but I had less practice then, so. Don't do that. Try to, like, um, dash, you know, dive, dash, duck, dive, dash. Um, if you jump on that, that totem down there, that totem, but that little branch, you can pretty much branch your way all the way up here. Yeah, just like that. I missed that spot. If you have to, if you land and have to have to grapple, it's gonna, you're gonna waste time. We're just run straight. Um, you can go right up the castle, like right here. You can leave the window and grapple the edge of that uh, castle there. I think I rest. I'm pretty sure I rest because I got hurt a little. And yeah, this is pretty much close to the uh, end here. Uh, don't go this way. This is the wrong way to go. Don't know if it's quicker, but you have to go through a lot of enemies. If you just go right out the window and parry is the first thing that's out the window, um, you pretty much can just climb on the side. And as soon as you touch the edge, your cutscene's gonna happen, so you wanna click it. Skip the cutscene. Which I already did. And here, just spam X, because the first answers are, um... The first answers are, are what you wanna do, so... And then Lady uh, Gentle Blade. I took way too long to skip that cutscene. I think I was breathing. Like going, oh, oh. If you see my breathing video, you should check that out. I'll probably have it edit this video so you can look at it. Um, I'll probably do more videos um, like this, but also just more random stupid videos of my first... I, probably, I, want, I do want to post um, the first time killing everyone. But yeah, anyways, so this one right here... Pretty much only hit her once. Run away from her grav. I sometimes poke her, but that's a good time to cover your um, stanima. You can hit her once when she's doing her jump attack, or you can jump on her head. This is the same moment movement again. One, two, one, two, one, two. Like hit, hit, hit. The first half you want to just do one hit, like I was doing, where it was like a hit, then a parry, then a hit, then a parry. Then when her meter is getting really orange, you can do two hits, parry, two hits, parry, and it'll activate the rest of this. She's pretty easy, um, but she's very OP with her attacks, so if you slip up once, you're pretty much dead. Um, you can parry that poke, but I don't. I don't think I parried at all. Hit twice, parry, parry. Hit twice, he has one second. If you notice that his poke there is the same timing for the regular attack that he did. I always just dash and jump on his head, but I was worrying because I didn't have any possible. Now, see there, I use the fireworks to uh, navigate through his attacks. If you hit him once there when he's sidewalking, um, he will dodge it and hit you right away no matter what. Uh, if you notice that I parried his overhead attack, you want to do that. You can parry this. Oh, he does something different. I walk in front of him because he'll do the overhead attack when he backs up with the hands in his blade like that. And... <laughs> I was like, oh, huh, he didn't hit me. I'm safe. No, I'm not safe. And see, by now, if I was using the overly strong red candy, um, the fight would have ended already, but I, there's a chance you can die, so. All right, now, so here, this is an easier way. You can just use Mortal Blade, but I use this technique. I, get him. I wait till see if he actually does it, because you can't attack in between using the special. And then I switch back to there. Um, and I make sure it's sidestep. I only got to size up twice, but I do it four times and I freak out. If you get right behind him, right here, whoop, then you can get two successful hits. 
Oh, he parried. He blocked that last one. Always know that when he's doing attack like that, here you want to run away in a circle. Then you can use it again. Be careful with that because if you are freaking out and you're running into a wall, he's going to hit you. You want to make sure if you he's in a corner and you can get, can't get behind him. Like if he's in a corner, you want to um, just back up and run away and jump as soon as he does a slash because you'll get hit by that pretty quick. And here you could I could have just used Mortal Blade, but for some reason I thought this was a super special attack, and I kill him with this. I think. Yep. And there we go. GG. Going to the menu and switching out those things is a waste of time. You literally only need to use Mortal Blade. Um, although that although that overhead attack is very useful if you run out of spirit emblems and you're like, fuck, uh, I'm screwed. Then you can switch out of this. Like, I think what I did uh, later on, I used the Mortal Blade until I ran out of spirit emblems. And then I did the overhead attack and it pretty much killed him pretty quick. I tried teabagging him there, but it didn't work. <laughs> but yeah, one fifth thing. So we're going to click out of here. Um... If it was PC, I don't, I don't know how the menu works, but for some reason, it asks me if I want to um, do new game plus. I, I just, I think I just quit the game out like right away or something like that. Am I gonna click out of it? I think right now I'm just going, oh, 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 I did it, oh, because oh. the first time I actually successfully did. Oh no, no, it's the second time. It's the first time I didn't die from Yushin. I did it completely. Because I, I did it once. I got 149 or 155. 445. So yeah, this was 30 minutes better than what I did previously. So I click out. Click back in because I don't want to do game plus. So I can show the file. But anyways, uh, this is the how to speedrun Sekiro in under two hours. If not, at an hour and a half. So um, you could still do an hour and a half, even if it took you 15 more minutes to, uh, kill Ish Ishin. It pretty much took me four minutes. It was a four minute fight, pretty much. Um, I think when I timed that out, because I got there at 111 and it was 115. So it was pretty much only a four minute fight. So technically you can have three more tries. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, hopefully this helped you. If it didn't help you, put that thumbs down. If it helped you, put thumbs up, subscribe, see more content like this. I do a lot of random videos. I stream four days a week. Um, uh, Tuesday, Wednesdays, Friday, and Saturday. I stream on Twitch. My link is down below. Twitter and everything else. I have my link tree set up on YouTube. Um, but yeah, so hopefully this helped you. If it didn't help you, um, then yeah, you can go ahead and put that thumbs down. Because either way, I'll still be here playing video games. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. There's my time right there. 111 19. Yeah, so it's been fun. Um, more speedruns, more secondal, more randomness, more everything. Thanks for watching. See you later.